simple. Each of our strongmen allowed two preliminary tosses, and then the top five will go to a one-toss throw-off for the championship. You're looking at big John Matusak of the Oakland Raiders, his second preliminary toss. There are our five leaders. So Hedlund really is sitting on the bubble, as they refer to it at Indianapolis. Russ Nip, Tommy Kono, some of our other judges are out there for the measurement. And John Matusak now sitting in fifth place. There's Reinhardt, one of our leaders. There it is, 32, two and a half. Matusak now in fifth. Here is Jack Wright. He's a former arm wrestling champion. He needs a little more speed. Each of these athletes allowed to turn one and a half times in that circle. That's not enough power. Wright is not going to be a factor. So he will miss with his second preliminary toss, and he will not get into the final. Now, there's the man who should win it, Brian Oldfield. He is a great shot putter. He knows how to generate strength and power right here with his turn. That's a good throw by Oldfield. That's out there at that 40 foot mark. You bet Brian knows he's got something going. 41, two and a half. So he'll go to our final for sure. Big Brian Oldfield. Uh, Brian, have you been the tossing tires in your spare time? Is that why you're so I can't even change a tire. I'm just amazed that this conforms so well to my style of throwing. <laughs> this is, well, you said this was going to be your event. You were right. I have got to do something right. <laughs> Thank you. As a pro, Brian was able to put the shot 75 feet. Here's a look at the style that enabled him to set that incredible mark. As a shot putter, how much weight did you lift, and how important was it to a shot putter to work with the weights? Well, I learned from a lot of uh, strong men, you know, from the early 60s shot put training, Perry O'Brien and what have you. They started to develop the strength training for the shot put, and for a long time, I thought that that was the only way to go, and I got up to about 280 pounds, and I threw over 75 feet. I weigh 245 now, and I'm almost throwing that far. It, it, it's more impeccable character. I am, I am more just a thrower now instead of a weightlifter-thrower combination. Just one final quick question for you, Brian O'Fee. A lot of talk about sex with football players and soccer players. The world's strongest men competition. Uh, do you believe in sex the night before the refrigerator race? Some people say that sex is, is good for you because it keeps you out of the refrigerator. And a look again at Brian Oldfield's powerful technique in the tire toss. He is our leader right now. So here's Ivan Putsky, the wrestler. Not yet on our leaderboard. And that's going to be a foul. Hal Conley picks it up immediately. Left foot over the white line. Don Reinhardt foul with his first toss. Boris Jurassic is up right now. He should do extremely well in this for two reasons. Number one, he's a hammer throw champion, so he will understand how to generate power with his revolutions inside the circle. But number two, do you know where he practices the hammer toss? In a parking lot in Brooklyn. He knows all about asphalt. Good throw out there around 40 feet. Not as far as his 40 foot six inches with his first toss, but Boris Jurassic, no doubt, is going to go to the final. And remember, these preliminary figures don't count in the finals. Gus Ruthwish. He is a bouncer at a hotel in Hawaii, but it's not all physical with Gus, because if you want to sit down and negotiate, he also holds a degree in political science from the University of Hawaii. Gus will go to the one-handed technique with the tire. Remember, Matusak is in fifth, 32, two and a half, and that's going to be very close. Looks like it was out around 35 feet. Judges are measuring. And it's 35 feet exactly. So Rethwish has pushed Matusak out of the top five. And here's the man in fifth, John Cole, the lineman from the Pittsburgh Steelers. 34 feet, 10 inches, his first toss. That one not nearly that far. Got over too far with his throw before he let go. So there you see our five leaders. Now, Don Reinhardt is coming up after Kolb. He fouled the first time, tied for the lead coming into this event. So the pressure's on. And he must exceed Kolb's 34 feet, 10 inches. 
Reinhardt from Fredonia, New York, has spent the last three months in preparation for taking the crown away from Bruce Wilhelm. Looks like a good toss. That's out around 35, 36 feet. There it is. Don Reinhardt yeah. jumps into the top five. Rethwich is now in fifth place. And here's Lars Hedlund. He's a Swedish national powerlifting champion, lieutenant in the Swedish Army. Rather amused that he has to throw a tire. Said he'd never encountered such an event as this. Let's see what kind of a style he comes up with. A little bit of a wobbler. And that's not going to be good enough for Lars Hedlund. He's one of our big men, though. 6'3", 302 pounds. And now Lars can sit down over there, get a little shade, and watch our defending champion go to work. Here's Bruce Wilhelm. This was not one of Bruce's good events a year ago. So a couple of used tires, a vacant lot, and a few practice hours. And this year, Bruce Wilhelm goes to the finals. And we'll be right back. Here's your host, Brent Musburger. Back with the finals of the tire toss at the World's Strongest Men competition. Gus Ruthwich getting ready. And when you think of sudden death, this is it. Nothing that these five finalists did in the preliminary heats means a thing right now. It's a one-toss shootout. 6'4", 325 pounds of power. Out around 35 feet. Tommy Kono out there with John Turpak measuring. Al Conley will call out the figure. There it is, 34, four and a half for Big Gus. And here is Don Reinhout. Boy, clothing manufacturers must love to see these guys come through the door. Imagine the yards of cloth that it takes just to cover a big man up like that. Oh, good explosion that time by Don. That is by far his best toss. 41, five and a half. And Bruce Wilhelm is under pressure right now. He came in to event number three, tied with Reinhardt for first place. Bruce is ideally suited for a strong men competition. He's big, strong, and he is also quick, extremely quick for his size. He goes out after Reinhardt, but that's going to be short. Don Reinhardt will take the overall lead, regardless of who wins the tire toss. There's his distance, 37 feet seven and three quarters inches three finalists in Reinhardt leading Boris Jurassic hammer throw champion in the preliminary round he was out at 40 feet so he's got a chance here and that toss not as good as the one he turned in earlier so Boris will not be happy with that effort 37 feet seven and a half inches he's capable of doing much better than he knows it one competitor left, and he's the favorite. Brian Oldfield. There it is. Oh, magnificent explosion by Oldfield. He's out around 42 feet. Great throw by Brian. He is going to win our tire toss. Uh, Dr. Wilhelm was over there uh, laughing and jiving a little bit while you were rotating, but that didn't throw you off bed, did it? Not a bit. Uh, quick was in this time, Quake was out. <laughs> it's nice to see your name go up there on the numbers board down there, Brian. I need the bucks. All right. John, come over here. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Thank man. you. You put the pressure on me. <laughs> Not only that, Don, but now you have taken overall first place oh, after three I'm, weeks. I'm happy about that. <laughs> right, can, you, can you keep it up now? Well, I'm going to try. This, this competition is so good. Everybody is great that it can go to anybody. So yeah. we'll just give it the best shot we got. And Brian, I want my mother to see this one. Mom, watch. <laughs> see the <laughs> difference? <laughs> and Oldfield's winning toss, a world record, 42 feet 9 inches. And after three weeks of competition, Reinhardt leading Wilhelm by three points. Oldfield jumps up into third place. Headland is fourth.
I'll be back.